And then we bring things up and we'll get the music going again. And here we are. Hello, it is Monday. Monday is the time where we do art now. That time used to be Friday, but now it is Monday. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hope you guys had a good weekend. Mine wasn't all that bad. Surprisingly warm yesterday. It was nice. It is indeed Monday, my dudes. We have past 69%. Nice. That is very nice. And we are just halfway... We are at the halfway point of the month now, too. So you guys are really kicking that out. You guys are really kicking that out. Watch your small puppers who are pests to each other. Well, that's what small doggos are like, don't worry about. I guess, hello there, Calzone. Hello there, Ralphie. Uh, I see Jackals in chat. Mercury dropped some goob. Zork dropped some goob. Yes, welcome all nonetheless. Uh, we're just going to go through, keep coloring, keep figuring out lighting sources, things like that in this current uh, take on Shenron. Uh, let's see here. Arms. Yeah, we can do, we did that, we did these last week. Put those extra lower fins on there, those little armored scales. So we go ahead and color those in now. And that's on the armor layer. Let's go to his palette. There we go. Not that far off. I actually, no, I, it's only a little bit there. So let's just start with this. Oh, that's right. We got to, well, we did, we did take care of the, uh, uh, lines last week. That's right. I see that now. Uh, wow. That note pen is pretty small. Is that the one we, is that the one we were using? Yes, that mill marker is, we're not using the flat, we, we used the marker pen, that's three by 15. So let's bump this up to 30. Now let's just dive back in here. Let's get the color going. And you know what, I hope your weeks haven't Got off to a bad start either. Well, hello there, watcher of the bells. How are the bells? Have they moved? That's the, that's the important question. Are the bells good? Yeah, we just got the music going again as always it is the fantasy and cinematic playlist on Epidem on uh, Spotify's Epidemic is what we listen to we change it up we might change up a little bit but uh I really do like this I, I have taken a liking to this playlist so I'm gonna be doing that alright now we can move off to this and then this can be we'll bump this down to third to yeah, 15 there. Aha, uh -huh, it's on eraser. Why are you on eraser? Probably because I hit the wrong button, which is why. Should just do like a little half line here. Just really following this along. And uh, we'll just grab our soft airbrush. And like I said, just try and use that to kind of just blend in there. Yes, layers, layers are a good thing. Layers are a good thing when doing, when making the color do and the art do. Cause, uh, I mean, just like working on paper, 
you might not exactly know how things will blend with each other and it allows you to easily correct mistakes made like there's a little bit of overbleed right here so it's all in the same layer well i'd be getting rid of the green that i didn't want to get rid of so many layers do good i mean heck layers in it and illustrations have been a thing since animation at the very least you've got three layers at any given time in animation you've got your background layer you've got your base animation and then you've got usually the mouth which is, does the most moving Oh, we got a positive share from Watcher of the Bells. <clears throat> Not really anything big, but last night we were eating supper, and I brought up my favorite song from Fallout New Vegas. It was Marty Roberts' Big Iron. Big Iron is, a, is probably the most enjoyed song uh, on, in that game. And we got into a little discussion about that, and it turns out my old man likes another one of his songs. Oh, called A Master's Call. Just goes to show you... Show you Mexican in the best conversation is the best conversation food. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I remember when they tried to use the film Real Mouse Talking and yeah, that uh, Clutch Cargo is probably one of the best animation, one of the best uh, examples of that, at least off the top of my head. Clutch Cargo, yeah, uh, and that whole style of animation, and that I mean that was animation in its bare basics, because basically. What that is, it's basically just, you just take all your layers, and then just like this, they just move them right across the screen, and then they'd stop, and then, uh, yeah, when they would make them talk, yeah, their mouths would just zoom in on their heads, and they would just be a tracking of someone's actual mouth. Hello there, Harold. Yeah, Clutch Cargo, if you want to see what Ralphie's talking about, that's the animation I can think of. That's the show off the top of my head I can think of, is Clutch Cargo. Um, that actually does bring something up. What is out here? Nothing should be out there. Apply transformation? No. Okay, so it's in the color scheme somewhere. What is out here? There's a little speck of something just hanging out here that shouldn't be there. Uh, so let's go ahead, cancel that transformation, get our eraser out, and try and see what layer that's on. No, it's not on that layer. Not on that layer. No. 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 So it's on the skill layer? What is out here? What secrets are you hiding layer? Anyway, let's just go ahead and just get a big eraser. That, 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 is, a not a, that is a considerably small eraser. There. We'll just zip. There. Whatever was there is now gone. I need not worry further. I have to take that back down to 100 now. Free just gave more goob. Alright. Uh, suddenly my eyes need a good rub and I don't know why. Probably have to end up getting some water soon. All right. Let's go back to concentrating here on our light and shade areas. This may not be how other people do it, but I'm not other people. I am, literally, again, literally just 
bull charging my way through and teaching myself my own little techniques and things like that. And that's fine. If it works for you, it works for you. This is oddly working for me. So, I'm just going to kind of roll with it. Uh, we could do... Okay, yep, I did have light back there, which I like. Oh, there's one thing I didn't want to do, and I'm glad I already did that. Right, so some shading. Do some shading up here, actually. And we were just using the soft... We were just using the brushes, I think, for that, more or less. Or at least... Eventually we are. Let's get our marker out, because some of this up here get that darker tone. Let's bring Paranga up to maybe we get some ideas off of him, and it's no, that's really not helping. That really doesn't help that much. Hmm. Maybe if we kind of, since this kind of rolls that way, in a sense, we're looking at it like a ball. Again, we've got our light source coming from here. So yeah, most of the shine coming up from the bottom of it. A little bit of the top, because as we go up, it does get lighter. There we got the bottom lighter at the top, or rather, lighter at the bottom, darker at the top. So, if we what are we looking at here? Let's grab a crayon real quick. Okay, no, that doesn't do what I want to do. Maybe the pencil will then. Let's go designer pencil. Okay, yeah, that responds to the the uh, pressure I applied. Let pressure down below and I pressed harder and harder as I went up. That's, that's what we're looking at right there. Random question. Do you guys feel like pineapple and stuff like case... Pineapple and stuff like quesadillas or pizza. I am not a fan of pineapple, so um, we're going to need to time you out for like, I don't know, a million seconds, I think. I think that's appropriate for that question. You know. But no, I'm... I'm up. I'm kidding there. Oh, hey, look at that! Got the uh, tier one subscription continued from our friend Pistol. Twenty-five months, buddy. Twenty-five months. Heck yeah. So anyway, back to the uh, not necessarily issue, but uh, project at hand. So let's. Go back to our marker here. And let's go ahead and just kind of I guess let me twist this maybe about 90 degrees or so. There we go. Kind of work this way. Uh 
Look like that, and then let's bump it up a size. Bump that back down, fill in this little hole here, a little gap there, and then again, just grab our airbrush. Hey, 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 you kids stop yelling. Turn this, I'll turn the stream around. You stop yelling back there. I will. Hey, you're right. It is not hacked open. Uh, we are under new management here on Monday. That is very correct. This is not hacked open. Great most no rambling. No grumbling or else we won't go to McDonald's. Rumble. Remember, this stream gets enough flack as is, as being the most controversial one we have. Yes, tech, tax and debt are on Mondays, you're right. Or they have moved from Mondays, they are now Fridays. Some new changes have come up in their schedules, so. I agreed to uh, swap times with them. So yeah, uh, Monday is, as you can see, it's under new management currently. And we, you are experiencing art. What is art? Well, that would fall within the purview using your conundrums of philosophy. So I can't solve that problem for you. I mean, yeah, I got a cool hat, duh. Got a lot of cool hats. Let's go ahead and zoop. And that's not that bad. I mean, what I could really do is just like grab like a ball or something like that and just shine a damn light on it and see how that works too. Uh, Because light is going to be bleeding up a little bit. So maybe I sh could add some more. Or maybe I could just pull that up too, because that might just be a lot up there too. So let's go ahead and grab this tool. Zoop. Do that, and then we can just. Take that all away. See, this is the benefit. You know, this is the this is the benefit of layers. The benefit of layers. Listen, if you guys behave. I might surmise Slarbies instead, if you behave. We might, we could go to Slobbies after the stream, and then you could just sit quietly, eat your Slobbies when, when Quish comes on. How's that sound? That's if, only if you behave. Only if you behave now. So I don't want to hear any yelling or anybody touching anybody else. You have to behave. Or no Slobbies. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit that save button by mistake because that's that's always a good thing to hit by mistake is that save button. Oh, we got a little bit. Oh, well, there's that move everything button. Let's go ahead and put a little bit back in here. I know some colors are missing right here. Let's go ahead and let's take care of that real quick. Oh, we got 69 bits. Nice. 69 bits, that's nice. Um, I have no idea who whispered in my ear with that audio file, but uh, never again. I'm doing pretty good, Diggs. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, I see that, Bell Watcher. I see that. Don't ruin this for everybody. Don't you dare. Uh, 
It sounded like hat. The audio file, but anyway. Uh... Maybe there should be more of. Let's go to this this light layer. We'll play with this a little bit real quick here. And grab this one. No, this one right here. And where's our marker? There's our marker. And we'll just fill in here. Actually, no. Let's keep that on the airbrush. I think I like that a little bit better, actually. Yeah, I, I like that bowl effect a little bit better. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see. Would be a little bit of shading up in here. Bump this down. That's kind of like that whole. Uh, turn this back on. Move around a little bit. Look at that hand. So we're kind of looking at this section of the wrist right there. That's what that is. That's about here. So let's see. Now bump this, let's see, what do we want to use? Not necessarily, maybe. Let's look at our pastels. Pastel. Pastel could be pretty good for shading. Then again, we did find that out during the uh, Nighthawks picture we did. You know what? Let's go ahead <clears throat> see what it looks like if we just bring a lot around. that and then we'll just kind of see how this looks shaded in <clears throat> not bad not bad maybe we'll do kind of a half and half though uh, the first lawn cuttings have begun in the neighborhood I can hear them the songs of the mowers. Neighbor across the street bought a new electric mower. I've got mine. I'll probably pull out come Saturday or something like that. Okay, I like what we are looking at behind the bump there. Not necessarily... Uh, behind this index finger here and kind of uncomfortable getting the uh, looking at my hand in that position because well it's weird it's awkward but yeah how about that go like, kind of like this actually that would be more The body's weird. I'll just, just, let's just say that the body's weird. But you know, what? let's redo this in pastel here. I 
that's not pastel. That's not pastel at all. Is this something on there? That's, that's something, just not on this layer, that's all. Okay. This is on this layer. Yes, it is. Okay, it's on that layer. Well, I know where that's hiding out. Where the heck's that? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I was kind of just looking at myself, too, here. Because, I mean, you are potentially your best uh, reference if you can kind of understand what you're looking at. I'm just, just trying to look at the arm here. See if there might be some shading we could put into show mo some more of that muscle definition there's a, probably some we could probably also look at our reference pictures as well we could probably also put some right back in here i don't necessarily want to use the marker right now let's get the uh there we go probably something back in here <coughs> we understand that uh, not the bicep whatever the lower set is the straight set I guess that's the bicep up there that likes both men and women and that muscle likes mostly just you know the opposite gender so at least I think that's how the body works I don't know don't quote me I'm not a doctor Maybe something back here to help push that out. Actually, it might be beneficial to build up from here. Or if we just take that out altogether. Just kind of bring that around like this. Maybe. Maybe. But again, something else we could also do is, uh, give me a second here to think. If we go to our lines layer. That's in details. Yes, it's in the details. So if we go to our details layer, turn that on. And what we could do is grab this. And then maybe in the pastel, let's pull up the pastel up to 20 and see what this looks like. Let's try the other. Let's try this one. Use that as our detail line. See how that works. Not bad. Not great. 
back with this one and let's just try I'll bump it up to bigger okay I like that better I do like that better so let's go back to our color layer though and fill some of this in marker underneath I'll probably end up doing that to both arms and maybe even the chest area too hello Digiman yes the goop tax the goop tax No, it's not Shenron. I mean, okay, which tablet are you talking about? You talk about the one I'm working on, or you talk about the one in the lower corner here? Because you know, in the lower corner, we're, we're working on this masterpiece constantly, constantly. You know, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that too. Uh, detail is that okay? I've got to find out where. Ooh where that's hiding at. But for now, go back to our details, uh, go back to the pastel, bump that to 50 just to color this in a little bit. So I do like how that looks. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, Alright, then color layer. Let's go back to the marker. We'll just kind of just fill that in underneath it again. Get those. Gaps taken care of. I can even take care of that one right there, I think. Okay. a little bit more than others. Just more. Fuller background here. Backfill, rather. All right. Okay. And then is this just in the body layer? Yeah, it's the body layer. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's grab the darker, well, maybe in here. We'll, we'll have to see how this looks. Not the... We might even go back and just play with this later in just its own on the shade layer, too. Let's have to see how it works out. Oh, well, that goes as long as our gets. Just... I said I'm using the pastel because I kind of like the fog, the haze, the shade it gives itself, similar to the soft spray that I use, but it's also not the soft spray, so I think that does add a little bonus to it. Full cover, not hidden shade. Your own digs day is fine. Well, enjoy your digs day. It's like a it's like an unbirthday, I guess. Uh, that's not that bad. Uh, I think I do. 
I want to change it up a little bit, but uh, let's see if we can actually enhance a little bit here on the shade layer. Just something to act as that definition is what I'm looking for. Uh, well, let's see here. Let's open up some reference pictures here. I've got somewhere, right? I thought I opened it recently. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and just bump that there. Just take a look at Colin's reference image. How did they do that? Just Can I just use the lines instead? Which works. Which works. Drag that. Put that up top. And that way we can have those pictures at once now. Yeah, she just used a different kind of green on that for that. So we could do that too, which is basically what we did do here on the inside. On the inside, even over there she did, yeah. I see that, yeah. So. What if we did this? Let's go back to these lines here. And let's just use this. That. Actually, I do kind of like how that is coming along. Um, I could bump up some of this lighter color too to make it even. We could try that, yeah. So let's grab this, get out of here, go to that layer. But let's go to our wheel here. Drag that lighter. You know, let me just go ahead and put that right here. The place color there. And with that, let's get our brush and now let's grab the pastel actually. Bump it down to 20. bowl going again. Bring out a little more definition. How much is too much? I have no idea. I rarely do this. I'm just not necessarily filling out time, but you know, filling out time with one picture. Just keep going. We could go, we could call this good at the flats, but. I kind of want to push myself a little more, teach myself a little more. And that's mostly what the stream is, just me. Uh, push myself a little further, do a little bit more. 
and you know just uh hanging out with uh, some people some other people feels birthday man huh oh pet we got a pet redeem okay and five squats who put the squats on we don't do squats we're artists here we don't do squats I mean, I guess I get the pets going. Hang on a second. I get something to pet here. Hang on. I just gotta prep the camera. I was not ready for that. Or Diva pet, not even aware of it. All oh, the things I do for love. It is. You're right. I don't care. It's just a birthday somewhere. I think that was a um, Jimmy Buffett song. It's, it's a birthday somewhere. There's my tablet cord right in front of the camera. We're professionals here. Professional what? I have no idea, but we're professionals. Okay, oh, well, there's the cord again. And you're just gonna have to deal with the cord. All right, there's. Pet the, pet one, I pet the shark. There you go, you got your pet in. There you go, you got your pets. All right, you know what? Here, here's for the squats. One, two, three, four, five. There, thanks, Gore. Thanks for the squats, buddy. You see, look at that. You got your squats in two. Never said I did nothing for you guys because I gave you what you have redeemed for. I gave you what you redeemed. I do like that increased definition. Let's round this one out a little, a little bit more though. Uh, I gotta put a little bit more, I think, up there. That would be this. Let's get the airbrush out here. better okay you know what else what also could have been done if we just left okay let's hit the save button real quick let's try I want to try something if we just turn this off. No, oh, okay, hang on. Not yet. I 
I mean, that's essentially what we were doing anyway. Actually, I do like the addition of that lighter color. Let's go ahead and keep that. Well, let's take it off the shade layer. Let's not get too crazy with this yet. Oh wait, shoot. Did I do a bad? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Even then I didn't save either. I, yeah, I did save so I could reload if I, if I really had to. So we're not going to do too lot with that extra light layer at the moment. We're still trying to figure out where the light isn't, where the shade is. Uh, so, I think actually some of that, let's get the pastel back out. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's pump it up to 40. Because kind of how we have here. Oh, that's the wrong color. That's the wrong damn colors, for sure, son. Well, yeah, 40 is going to be a bit too big. So let's bump that back down to 20. I think it does need to work into that a little bit. I liked where I was going, but I could see something different now. I think a break really is going to help that. Oh, forward, forward. that coloring there okay so go like that even then Okay, like that, this could be shaded in like this. And let's get the soft eraser out. Yeah, that's it, I think. That's it. Let's shape this a little bit a little bit like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's nope, not too much. Hit that save button. 
Uh, let's see here. Hardness, brush density, saturation, size. Aha, I'm on the wrong layer, which is fine. That just means I can just undertrace then. back there onto here and then I can just because I like like how this is looking I'm not gonna touch that so I like that I think some color needs to be put over here though uh very light 12 right there, I think. I think that helped it out a little bit. Hey, hey, you kids behaving in chat? What's going on? Talk about anti-time and unbirthdays and things like that. Okay. All right. As long as your kids are behaving. As long as you're behaving back there. I can really put, uh, really put, you should put chat on screen so, you know, YouTube knows what the hell's going on in these conversations. But it's also fun for them just to guess. That paint better not be matching, Jackal. Yeah, stop being so young, Grimos. Knock it off. We don't like that here. A lot of his back would be shaded out, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this. And let's bump this up to 40. Very much, if not all of his back, is going to be shaded in, actually, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and just do that. There might be some bits on the front of the shoulders here that'd be lit up, but not a whole lot else. So let's actually just... Grab our belt pen here and just start kind of going over all that. I may also need to excuse myself for a few minutes eventually because I am expecting a delivery sometime today. When, I do not know, though. It's supposed to be delivered today, but, you know, who knows if that's actually going to be a thing. You know how the postal systems and deliveries work, which is, you know, sometimes they just don't.
Yeah, I'm probably not getting it till probably tomorrow review, even Wednesday, but oh well. Oh well. Invisible ink. Okay. It's not going to appear up like anything. Okay, well, you know, as long as you're covering the hole with invisible ink, then you can't see the hole. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, hey, it is a certain time because my laser turning on now. end up being uh, airbrushed kind of like we, what we have done down here so I'll just go ahead and use the marker to give ourselves a nice border Gonna be color mixing there, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and just grab our fill tool, just pour it like that. Now we'll just fill in the lines as such. Oh yeah, let's just grab that airbrush, that soft brush. Forty, yeah, forty seems fine. that worked in there. Let's get our pen back out. We'll just color the rest in here. Oh, I hit that save button there by mistake, but you know, it's always a good button to hit. It's always a good button to hit because you never know when you're, uh, when you saved last. Kind of bring that up onto the head, and I'll just clean the head up a little bit of that color. Once again, just grab our marker, fill in the rest of the back end here. We'll come to that all in a minute here. Let's just go ahead and do the same here with this. arch here. Let's grab this. Let's kind of continue it into there. Grab this again and we'll this up here. And then once again, marker to fill. Trace around in here. Blah blah. Hit that fill button there. 
and get the marker back out and take care of all the lollygaggers here. Use the airbrush here to again go over what's already been airbrushed. Get that blend look going. I'll clean up the uh, head spikes in this hot minute here. Again, a reason to use layers, you can do that. You can go over the lines and then go back and correct your line mistakes. You see, chat is just off in their own little world in these streams, and that's fine. As long as you guys are enjoying each other's company and just have this on as background sound and music to your own conversation, it means you're having a good time. And that's what we, at least I aim to do here, is just you know, make sure you guys have a good time. Enjoy yourselves while you're here. We are in this funny little community that does stuff and things. That is something that annoys me. Uh, let's go to the lines. That is in the body, yes, yes. Uh, pen, pen, pen. Why? Why are you like this line? Okay, let's bump you down to a 10. Okay, that's good. What the hell is going on here? Oh, that was the wrong dang layer. Oh, that's why it didn't do that. Okay, back to pen. Okay, I'm a little less annoyed now. Thank you. Thank you, me, for uh, doing that. Don't know why Pass Me did it like that, but I'm sure Pass Me had a reason to not pay attention to that. So we can blame Pass Me on that one. No. Anyway. Coloring, shading, and the whatnot. So I'm just gonna use the airbrush pen to do the border. I'll come back to these guys in a little bit. Just want to grab our marker. going and then just bada boom bada bing there I just didn't like 
that already. Let's do this by hand. And we'll get the airbrush out in just a second here. To brush this in. Let's make it a little bit smaller, actually. Let's bump it down to a 20. I would like this color to be on top when I do that, which probably will be next. Actually, I just no, that's I just use that one because technically that's the color. Again, we'll just discover all this all together. Let's get the eraser out, take care of this right here. Shut these off, shut these all off. There we go. Because this head will be uh, shaded a little bit too in the back here. Maybe a little bit in the front will be lit up though. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but uh... Yeah, that's actually... Starting to look, I start to look pretty good. I'm really getting that whole light from below effect going now. It's really starting to set in. I think we uh, zoom out and look at most of it. Oh, I bumped the camera. I bumped the little table here. Let's just go ahead and just there. Oh, I got to fix it a little bit. That stream delay. We probably didn't. Yeah. See, zoomed in, and that's not looking all that great, but, you know, we take a second to step back, look at the grander picture, it's coming in pretty good, I think. We're getting a really good, uh, like I said, we're really getting that good concentration from the bottom here now. That's pretty good. Okay. Ah, uh, but, uh, please, let's go ahead. Work on the spider days. Animation cell layer, edit cell. Wow, that's stuff I'm not going to deal with yet. Eventually, we might start animating, but I don't know. Just take that, move that down. We're going to put that there. And I'm just going to see how this looks now. Nope, wrong button. Or at least right button, wrong minute, wrong time. Oh, that's pretty good there. Yeah, I just... Color this part in, and we'll use, like I said, we'll just use the uh, airbrush in a hot second here. We should really almost be really darker back here because there's like absolutely no light going here. So we'll get that airbrush, nice and small. That's the eraser button. I meant to zoom in like this. That's a little overbleed there, but uh, we'll fix it in a hot second here. Now and then, 
What the hell color did I grab? Grab that one. Grab that one. There we go. There we go. Maybe we don't need to put the lighter blue up here. You know, let's just play with it, see what happens. Uh, let's turn this 90 degrees here. Let's actually go back and do this in pastel. Since it's further away from the light source. Just do both shoulders first. I think that could work but would have to light up more of this area here. Actually, no, I, I don't, I'm not gonna do that, but do it this way, but if I have to light up this area here on the arms. No, but not necessarily, because that could hang over. It's all just very slow work. Um, I don't know. I kind of like them as is like that, though. I think that's good enough of a tell. Then maybe back in here, though, could be some more shading, though, because... It's all very tricky to the eye. Hmm. Let's work on the face a little bit because I do know there is some shading to be done up here. Especially up here on the bridge, on the top of his snout, his maw, his snoot. Boop it. There, we booped it. Oh, we got 69 bits right there. Nice. Thanks for a donation. Let me guess. That's probably Ether. Yes, it was. Look at that. I didn't even need to look. I just had a feel. I had a feeling, buddy. That was you. I had a feeling. Heard the nice in the head like, you know what? It's got to be 69 bits. That's got to be my buddy Ether. Ah, oh, not a whole lot. We are just working on bumbling our way through shading. You know what? Let's grab this dark color here and back to our airbrush. Let's bump the airbrush down to 25. Just use that to go over that blue color. 
right back to the blue. And then back to our marker here. It does eventually do that. Let's grab more and just keep fading in. As I said, basically the whole top of this muzzle is just going to be colored in. Uh, this up to 50 just cover more ground that way there we go oh yeah we got more new more coop donations from dragon frozen hog master mayhem Blackfire Gaming. Ether threw some uh, goob in there. Look at that. Contributed one. And one other contributed. Isn't that great? You know, I think I, I, I could toss it for this round, too. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. There, I've got something to put my goob into now. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Okay, now let's take a little looky loo here. It's, oop. That's uh, zooming out the wrong window there. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what I'm thinking though, let's grab this. That's actually not that color though. Could work, but maybe not. You know, back to the shade. Let's grab the darker green. Let's airbrush at 25, yeah. I'll just follow his face around like this. Make it smaller because I think this will work. Oh, look at that! We got a uh, we got a gift sub to Digiman from Night Owl. Look at that! Look at that indeed. Thank you for the gift sub there. You don't have your pants. So we know we have got Night Owl that's quick on that draw there. He gave you pants. Bump this back up to 20. Just finish coloring in this portion here. Oh yeah, that's looking 
a little actually a little menacing. Uh, let's bump this down to 20. Just do some filling in here. Just give that a nice foundation now to sit on top of. Not so cloudy. Underneath. Lift our pen up real quick. Well, we just got to follow there. Thank you, uh, up here for the foul. Oh, no, that was, a, that was a, uh, a subscription. Excuse me. I'm used to the fart being just a follow. Up here has been subscribed for 22 months. Um, that's interesting. Uh, that you do such a thing, but thank you. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I think that might do it for the night. Let's go ahead and hit that save button here. Yeah, let's go ahead and save there. Uh, hey, you know, we made some pretty interesting, it's a pretty good, uh, uh, progress today. I'm really liking how this is turning out now. Uh, the shading and lighting experiment is really coming along with my thing. Well, yeah, there we go. That's uh, probably going to do it for me, then. Uh, we will be going to Slobby's. You guys did behave good enough, so I surmise we're going to Slobby's now. Anyway, uh, you guys have a good rest of your week. Uh, Quish is coming up later, so, you know, hang around for that if you enjoy his show. Um, and... I will be back Saturday for the for System Saturdays. If you care to uh, join me that early in the morning, I don't know why you would because dear God, it's so early. But yeah, like I said, we got Quish coming later on. Uh, again, Texas and Death will be around uh, come uh, Friday, so you know you'll be able to catch those guys then uh, and I will keep again I'll see you guys Saturday you guys have a good week and I'll see you later take it easy